Welcome church members. In this, the first video, we're going to show you how to use the I Pray You app. And uh, just for starters, the I Pray You app is available for mobile devices as well as uh, desktop, laptop computers. Um, so you can download Apple Android versions uh, of the mobile app and you can access it um, through that way. I'm going to be working off of my computer so I'm at www.iprayu.org and so um, this is the home screen here and if you're going uh, through that platform and what you'll want to do then is click on the prayer partners button to get logged in and so you click on the prayer partners button and then uh, to log in, you're going to use the email and password um, that whoever it was that signed you up into your church's prayer database uh, used. So um, whether it was your pastor, the prayer coordinator, or an elder that signed you up, uh, they would have given you a password to get you logged in the first time. That's what you'd use. So you just type in your password email and password there. I'm going to use uh, email and password for a church member role uh, for a actual prayer database for an outreach that we're doing in Newark. So you just use yours there then click on the login button and then um, this will get you in and then you're going to click on the home button here in the upper left hand corner and the home button is of course what gets you home uh, every time so this is your home screen here and uh, so you're logged in as a church member and just to give you a little quick orientation to the home screen the top two buttons uh, tell you everything about the prayers of the church that you need to know we're going to look at that in our next video and then the middle two buttons tell you everything you need to know about who's doing the praying in the church and uh, we'll look at that in the following video and then we'll wrap up at the end looking at the prayer calendar information about the church and also talk a little bit about how somebody outside the church can use the prayer app to make uh, prayer requests and what that looks like. So that's kind of a, what we're going to be doing. The first thing that you'll want to do is click on the little me button down here, lower right hand corner. Click on that and then that's going to pull up uh, your information there. And so then uh, one of the things that you can do with this that's pretty neat is you can um, put a picture of yourself in here. So um, if you want to uh, choose a picture for yourself you just click on the choose file button there and uh, so I'm working off my computer and uh, there's a file there with one of my favorite pictures my wedding picture Kathy and I so click on that click open and that will upload if you're working off your phone you just go into your photo file and do the same thing there's a place for you to edit your information about your name phone number email address so uh, you know any changes that need to be made with this, you don't have to ask the church secretary to change your email address for you on your account. Uh, you can log in and do it yourself. And if for some reason you've forgotten your password, there's a little forgot your password button, just like any other sort of login site has. And it'll walk you through how do you get your, your password back. Anytime you make a change, you want to put in your password and um, you can change your password, update your password as many times as you want to. Then, um, just click the submit button and then it will update your information form successfully submitted click the home button and that will get you back to your home screen here and then if you want to see what that looks like you just click on your prayer ministry members button here and there's the picture that we just uploaded and so that's kind of neat because then as people add their pictures uh, for the church's uh, prayer ministry database you have a pictorial directory here and uh, the pictures can be uploaded as many times changed as many times as they want to uh, you know if you're a grandparent you want to brag about your grandkids you can put your grandkids in there's your picture whatever you want and so people just get to know each other better and if you've ever been part of putting a, together a church pictorial directory you know uh, how much work that is and so this is just um, a way to leverage modern technology uh, to bless your church and so then and um, if you're working off your smartphone, you can call right off of the screen right here. And whatever sort of device you're working off of, you can send an email. Uh, 
by just simply clicking on that. But we're going to get to that here uh, in in just a little bit. So um, <clears throat> I just want to share with you a couple things about you know what it means to be a church member uh, involved in the prayer ministry of your congregation. Uh, you uh, play a big role uh, in the prayer ministry of the church and um, you know you're not just a, a church member but you're involved in a small group a ministry or a board and you are a big blessing to the pastor and to the congregation in this app we're going to show you how you can volunteer to help with prayer requests um, even though you're not an individual prayer partner you can still volunteer to help by reaching out to those who are on the prayer team letting them know how you want to help um, one of the things that's very important that you can do is by having access to the church's prayer database you can share the updates that are posted on the church's prayer database with members who don't use computers or smartphones and so that's a big blessing uh, by adding your picture to the church's prayer database you help to build fellowship in your church you can print out any of the pages um, on uh, the prayer database. So there's this little print button here in the upper right hand corner. If you see the mouse moving up there, uh, that's one of my favorite features of the app. And so by by printing out, uh, by having that ability to print out any of these pages here, you can, again, you can bless people who, in your congregation who don't use technology. You can view the events in the prayer calendar and uh, pray for those things and uh, share that information with others in your church. And uh, also by being involved with this uh, prayer ministry database app, you can uh, begin to explore through prayer the idea of becoming an individual prayer partner within your congregation. So um, thank you for all that you do. You are a blessing. And in our next video, we're going to look at how you access the prayers of the church and uh, some of the things that you can do with that.